Avengers, it is I, Captain Math! We have an emergency. The Math Marauder has struck again. Are we all here? Here! Of course, here I am. Here I am. The Math Marauder doesn't want the children to know that they can use their two times table to help them with doubling and halving. Well, that's where I come in. Let's practice the two times table. Gather the math heroes. Let's go! All right, Math Avengers, let's do our two times table training. Here we go. One, two is two. Two twos are four. Three twos are six. Four twos are eight. Five twos are ten. Six twos are twelve. Seven twos are fourteen. Eight twos are sixteen. Nine twos are eighteen. Ten twos are twenty. Eleven twos are twenty-two. Twelve twos are twenty-four! Great job, math heroes. That will really beat the math marauder! Yay! For learning the two times table! Now that we've practiced our two times table, we're ready to use it to help us doing a doubling and a halving. Now, we know that multiplication and division are related. Division is the opposite of multiplication. One undoes the other. When we double a number, we add it to itself. In other words, we multiply it by two. When we halve a number, we divide it into two equal groups. In other words, we divide it by two. Look at this picture. This picture shows one group of three superheroes. If I want to double this number of superheroes, what do I need to do? That's right. I need to multiply it by two. Look! Now there are two groups, each with three superheroes. How can we write this picture as a multiplication sum? Very good! This picture shows double three. And another way of writing double three is three times two. Fabulous job! Now look at this picture. We have a group of five superheroes. Can you find the double for this number and write it as a multiplication sum? Excellent! Five times two equals ten. Double five is the same as five times two. So, if we want to find a double of a 
number. All we have to do is multiply by two. You're doing great. Take a look at this picture showing eight superheroes. If I want to find half of that bunch of superheroes, what do I need to do? That's right. We need to divide by two. So, write this as a division fact on your whiteboard. Very good. Eight divided by two is four. So, if we halve eight, what do we get? Four. Half of eight and eight divided by two are the same thing. Well done. Now take a look at this picture showing 12 superheroes. Can you halve this number and write it as a division fact? Excellent! 12 divided by 2 is 6. So, half of 12 is 6. If we want to find the half of a number, we divide it by two. Fantastic! Now, math heroes, you need to do page 15 in your activity book 2C to sharpen your skills. And then post it to your portfolio so your super teacher can see it. Great job! The math marauder doesn't stand a chance! These math avengers are teaching children how to use their math skill. I must stop them. Ha! They haven't learned the five times table yet. If they don't know that, it means they can't work out sums that divide and multiply by five! <laughs> Mistress Multiplication! Now he's targeting the five times table! What shall we do? I think we need some five times table training. Let's go! Now, math heroes, the five times table. Let's train! One five is five. Two fives are ten. Three fives are fifteen. Four fives are twenty. Five fives are twenty-five. Six fives are thirty. Seven fives are thirty-five. Eight fives are forty. Nine fives are forty-five. Ten fives are fifty. Eleven fives are fifty-five. Twelve fives are sixty. That was amazing, math heroes. The math marauder won't beat us now. No! Not the five times table, too! Now that we've practiced the five times table, we are ready to use it to help us to multiply and divide by five. We've been counting in fives for quite some time now. So, math heroes, I want you to write down all the multiples of five from zero to sixty. One. Two, three, go! Okay, are you ready for a little five times table challenge? You're going to use your multiples of five to help you work out the answers to these sums. As soon as you know it, shout it out. Don't wait. Okay, here we go. Three times five. Fabulous, 15, well done. What is eight times five? Great. Here's a 
question for you. How many fives do I need in order to make 25? Very good. Five fives. I needed to make 25. Okay, so what number do I have to multiply by five to get 30? Good. Six fives are 30. Yes, you're really using your times tables now. We know that multiplication is the opposite of division. And division is the opposite of multiplication. Division undoes multiplication. So, if we know a multiplication fact, we also know a division fact to go with it. Take a look at this multiplication fact. Eight times five is 40. If we know that multiplication fact, then which division fact do we also know? Very good. We know that 40 divided by five is eight. Great job, math heroes. Now, write this multiplication fact on your whiteboard. Two times five equals 10. Now, write a division fact to go with it. Excellent job. The division fact to go with that is 10 divided by 5 equals 2. Super. One more. This one might be a hard one. Write this multiplication fact on your whiteboard. 11 times 5 is 55. Write it on your whiteboard and then work out the division fact to go with it. Did you figure it out? Of course you did. You're super. 55 divided by 5 is 11. Fantastic! Now, my heroes, you need to do page 17 in your activity book 2C and post it to your portfolio so your super teachers can see it. You've done a fabulous job today. I'm so proud of you. Math Avengers, math heroes, you've saved the day again. The math marauder is beat for sure. Until next time, Math Avengers, you won't beat me again.